A recent election poll suggested that every single seat of the Scottish Parliament could be won by the SNP. What about this party is so attractive to voters, considering its low membership just a few years before? Do you think the SNP could win this election? Pretty much the same, because the um, referendum and all that, everybody's wanting to, want to go independent, so aye. But see, I think that kind of got everybody kind of interested in politics. Yeah, because the majority of the money goes to England. Well, it was like 60% or something, isn't it? 60% goes to the money in England, whereas like, there's the amount of poverty and homelessness and all that that's in Scotland, where that can help that. SNP voters are characteristically vocal about their allegiance, as was seen in our exclusive interview with Scottish Conservative leader Ruth Davidson. So, uh, sort of in 2010, it was about two thirds turned out. For, uh... no. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Do you want to start that again, or? Uh, yeah, yes, we can uh, go out. So, sure. uh, the, uh, before that, I'll Greg Stewart is an SNP youth activist. I asked him whether yes, he sorry. thought a single-party SNP uh, government so was a good thing. It probably isn't. We could, in the short term, it would be a good thing to kind of shake up Westminster, but uh, of course it is never healthy to have one party. I don't, I don't think we're really talking about a massive shake up. Well, in, the, in the kind of bubble that Westminster's in just now, it would seem massive, but in the wider scale, it's not really massive. Like scrapping the House of Lords, I mean, just madness in the 21st century, <laughs> scrapping um, nuclear weapons, which only a, a handful of countries in the world have. Like, that is, like some of the SNP's main policies, and they're not radical and if you look at the wider picture. Anne McLaughlin is the SNP's candidate for Glasgow North East. What does she put her party's increase in supporters down to? What we're finding in our polling, the SNP polling, as we go down the doorsteps is that um, lots and lots of people are saying I voted yes, intending to continue voting Labour, but I've changed my mind, I voted yes and now I'm voting SNP. So we'll see on Thursday what the outcome is. Vote SNP and get Scotland. This is Anne McLaughlin, your SNP. Opponents of the SNP are equally vocal too, as we discovered on the road with McLaughlin. Someone stood in front of the uh, convoy. There we go. Do you feel uh, scared in these kind of situations? Um, a little bit. Sometimes, yeah, a little bit, but uh, it's not very often. Something like that happens, to be quite honest. Now is too soon to be talking about it. We've just lost a referendum. But it did happen again lose in the referendum. middle of another interview then with one of her volunteers. I've been campaigning in Trim for about 12, 13 years altogether. I used to live in flats down there. So um, over the years, just, you know, when I first started campaigning here, we used to have uh, I think called the Scottish Unionist Party. It was a racist party. It was big in the 30s and it had a bit of a sort of conservative sort of social base, but it's gradually died in spring Brown over the years and now we've become much more cosmopolitan place very diverse so that whole unionist thing is dying and it's good that's a little remnant of it do, but do, do you feel that this this election is more lively than ever yes it's um i think essentially the sort of revolution has happened since the referendum I and mean, people woke up and they kind of were inspired by the idea that we could have a fairer society that we could stop all the things we didn't like from westminster that the government we had could actually govern better for us so, although the party is celebrating intense popularity, they still have a way to go yet. Right, to work everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Dominic Stevens, your election 15, Glasgow.